And there he is. Hey buddy. Yo, you gotta hold on to this. Like I can't do this and drive at the same time. What'd they ask you? Fun. Explained what we did at her house the last time we were there, and she was she got really frustrated that uh, we kind of lied in her face. But uh, due to your condition, uh, whole injury, I she's not gonna press charges at all. But uh, she actually offered to uh, talk to us uh, today. So if you could like fake a smile or something like that, because. She probably could have fucked your life over if she pressed charges. Um, before we start uh, filming, Chris. Chris. Uh, can you actually film us this time? Hold it up. Good. So you wanted to tell us something? Uh, yeah. Um... When you, when you came to over the last time, um, I yeah I I feel like now it's very imperative that I tell you, but um, I kind of I lied about the um, about my grandfather like that I didn't really know much about him because um, I do. Uh, he he did he did disappear. I just want you to know that. But there's more to it mm -hmm. that um, I think you should know. Um, when my before my grandfather went missing, um, he was admitted into a mental hospital. Or why was he put in there? My f my my father and him got in the this uh, big, big argument about um, what I found and ended up finding out was about uh, they were both members of this uh, secret society. Um, my grandfather was actually trying to reason with him and tell him to uh, leave along with him, but... They were both in it? Yeah, they yeah, they were both in it. My father was... My father's just really, just really stubborn. My grandfather said he 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 was misled, and, and like it took him until it took him a while to realize what was really going on. But as I said, my my father just couldn't believe that that Your grandfather was right. Exactly. So. Um, and it, like. Um, he sent my grandfather to a mental institution claiming that, like, everything you said was just... Crazy. 
Yeah, I, after my, after my, he sent my um, grandfather to the mental institution. Um, him and my mom started having problems. They started fighting, and um, then Do you know he what the and fights were about. If you don't mind me asking, about the secret society. I didn't really know about it. I mean, as I said, I thought it was like Freema or Freemasons or something. Like Masons are around, but you don't know what goes on. Yeah. You know? Um, but after they started fighting, my father just got up and left, and I hadn't heard from him since. I'm sorry if it's a sensitive subject. So it's it's okay. I mean, I just don't like talking about it because it's still like it still kind of cuts deep. So your father and your grandfather got into a big argument, and uh, about this secret society. Uh, do you know what exactly it was about? Well, back in ninety eight, I think. My, my father didn't leave, he was just, he was just set on that the secret society just, you know, there was nothing wrong with it. So, um, in order to kind of get him to leave, uh, he sent the files of the society to the History Channel. Do you and, know um, what show we was called, or what they were... I don't even think that it was aired. I mean, he sent it. Just the fact that he sent all this information that was about the secret society. Yeah, that was that was. So you know, that's yeah. a, a secret to um yeah. to you know be broadcasted. That's where it all started, and as time went on, and more arguments. He uh, finally sent him to the institution in 2001. Was that the last time you saw your grandfather when you left? I, well, I saw him one more time. Uh, Where? At, well, yeah. at the institution. Um, he, when I saw him, was, he didn't seem the same as he used to be. He was uh, just he was a little off. Mm -hmm and unnerved. Um, one thing I also noticed was that his he, his bathrobe and his pajamas were dirty and um, the last thing he said to me before he disappeared uh, he told me that he was gonna make it all better and I didn't really know what it meant but I, that's always stuck with me So did he escape or something? A year later. I haven't seen him since. I haven't heard anything. I'm, just, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this at first. I'm just um. It's. It would have been helpful if you told us the truth, but then again, we haven't been truthful to you as well. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on that we did not actually tell you about it's actually been going on for like the past year box yeah could you get that for me real quick i'll show you something sure, no problem. this symbol right hold here this. wait what hold it Okay. But, um, what are you saying? This symbol right here, um, we, we first saw this, we, uh, went into this place called Rainwood Day Camp, right in front of, uh, our friend Greg's house. And, uh, we explored inside and we saw this symbol everywhere. That was a video of almost like this secret gathering, the secret, a secret meeting yeah. at this place. They, it looked like they killed someone inside of that uh, building and like Did, uh, are you okay they boarded the place up 
a few days later before we could go back inside and see what they were doing. Mm. But that's why... Really? That's probably why he was so intrigued when at that garage sale because we saw that symbol and we thought it was, and it is, relevant to what we found. You okay in there? It's good to know. Well, I'm I'm really sorry that uh, we kind of lied to you in front of your face because we we just wanted to get to the bottom yeah, of what was going on. Yeah, there's one in the next Chris. room, right in the corner. Is he okay? Yeah. <laughs> 